Well, hello there, Monstars. In this flip video, we are going to be looking at related facts. And we've talked about related facts um, a lot with addition and subtraction. Related facts are the same thing as fact families. So we worked with fact families a lot in addition and subtraction, and now we're going to see how fact families work in multiplication, multiplication and division number sentences. Okay, there's some terminology that we need to know in order to be successful with related facts. One of them is our triangular fact family card, and that's this card right here. I bet you can guess why it's called a triangular fact family card, and you're right. It's because it's in the shape of a triangle, and it's, much, it's a lot like our addition and subtraction fact family cards, only at the top, instead of being a sum... The top actually contains the product or the dividend if we're looking at multiplication or division sentences. And then to the left and to the right, we have our factors if we're dealing with the multiplication number sentence, or we have our divisor and our quotient, or vice versa. We also need to know what a whole number is because I'm going to ask you to be working with whole numbers that are greater than one when we're working. And a whole number is, just like when we talk about a whole pizza, it's a complete number. So that means you're not going to be dealing with numbers like one and one and a half, or um, any numbers that are below or less than one, like three-fourths of a number or one-fourth of a number. We're not going to be working with numbers like that. We're only working with numbers greater than one. Okay, so when we look at this triangular fact card, we're going to use this to help us determine our fact family. So we always start with our factors, so if we're doing our multiplication equations first. And we see that on the left we have the factor of 7, and on the right we have a factor of 8. If we take 7 times 8, let me write that out for us, 7 times 8, I'm going to give each number its own color. 7 times 8 equals 56. That's how we use our fact family card. We also know from the commutative property that we can go in a different order and get the same answer. So we can also take 8 times 7 to get 56. And when I write that out, it looks like this. And if I keep every number as its, same, as its same color, you can see how the facts are related to each other. Now that we have our multiplication number sentences, we also can do division number sentences. Now, if we look at our three numbers, we know that our largest number has to be our dividend, the number that we're dividing. And our largest number is 56. So if we take 56 and we divide it by the divisor of 8, what are we going to get as our answer? 56 divided by... 8. Well, using our fact family card, we can see that we have 56 divided by 8 equals a quotient of 7. Now, if we go the other way, if we have 56 as a dividend, we divide it by the divisor of 7, what's our answer going to be that time? You are right. Our answer, if we divide by 7, is going to equal 8. So these would be the four fact families, or this would be the fact family for this number card, and it has four number sentences that go with this fact family. Two multiplication number sentences and two division number sentences. Okay, using this fact family card, I would like you to write all of the fact families, all the number sentences that go with this fact family card. So we have 15 at the top, and we have three and we have five down here. So I want you to pause the video and then write the number sentences and push play when you're ready. All right, so these are our fact families for this fact family card. These are our number sentences. Um, the first one, well, if we look at multiplication, we take three times five to get a product of 15. And then using the commutative property, we take five times three to get 15 as well as our product. Now you notice I gave every um, whole number in our fact families its own color, so you can easily see the patterns that develop when we're dealing with fact families and writing our number sentences. If I look at my division 
number sentences that happen with this fact family, I always start with my largest number, my dividend. If I divide by 5, by the divisor of 5, my quotient would be 3. And that's written right here. 5 divided by 5 equals 3. And if I go, if I divide 15 by the divisor of 3, my quotient will be 5. So you've probably noticed that the pattern that's developing is our larger number in our multiplication sentences always ends up as our product. In our division number sentences, our largest number is always our dividend. And you can see how our numbers are flip-flopping to make our fact families. Okay, it's important to know our fact families so that we can solve number sentences that have a missing part. So on this problem, I'm going to ask you to figure out which whole number would make this number sentence true. So these are related facts. You have an empty triangular fact card here. I want you to see if you can determine what three whole numbers complete our triangular fact card. So pause the video, complete the triangular fact card, and push play when you're ready. Okay, so on our triangular fact card, when I'm looking at my facts, I see that 12 is my largest number of the three numbers. And I know from triangular fact cards that 12 always would go at the top. That would mean that my remaining numbers of 3 and 4 need to go at the bottom. So I'll put 3. So I'm going to put my 3 down here. And I'm going to put my 4 over here. Okay, now that we have our triangular fact card completed, Can now I let's see. Now let's see if we can complete our number sentences. So what would be the missing whole number that would make this number sentence true? If I take, take three groups of four and using my triangular fact card, three times four, then my product would be 12. Now using my, in this division number sentence, I have a missing part. What whole number would make this number sentence true? Well, using my triangular fact card, I know my answer, my quotient's 4, and my dividend is 12. Well, the missing number would be 12 divided by 3. And 3 would be the number I would need to make my number sentence true. Okay, now I've given you three triangular fact family cards. And you have four number sentences down here. And each number sentence is not complete. I need you to write the whole number on each blank that makes the number sentence complete. So you might have to use a different fact family card each time to determine the answer. So I want you to pause the video, use your fact family cards to determine the answer, and push play when you're ready. Mommy. Okay, for our first number sentence of 24 divided by blank equals 6, I know I'm going to need to use a triangular fact card that has 24 in it. Well, I, it also needs to have 6 involved with it for its fact family. So I'm going to use this middle card, 24 divided by blank equals 6. Well, what's going to go in my blank is going to be my 4. I also know this is true because if I had a missing number here and I did not have my triangular fact card to help me, I would have to think, okay, what number divided... 24 divided by what number equals 6? Or I could work backwards using my fact families and take, say 6 times blank equals 24 and determine what the answer would be. Okay, on my second number sentence, I have 12 to equals, there's your equal sign, 12, 24, sorry, I said that wrong, 24 equals 12 times what? 24 equals 12 times what? And the answer, I'm using my triangular fact card here, 12 times 2 equals 24. So 2 would go in this blank. My third number sentence is 12 equals blank times 6. What number times 6 equals 12? That's this triangular fact card. And the answer would be 2. Alright, and on our final one, when you first glance at our final problem, it looks like it might be confusing. Mama, can you help me? It looks like it may be confusing. You'll see 4 equals blank divided by 6. So what number would go in this blank to make this number sentence true? What whole number? 
Well, if it's divided by 6, you have to have a large dividend here to give you an answer of 4. I see that this fact family has 24, 4, and 6. So I know my answer is going to be 24. If, because 24 divided by 6 equals 4, according to my fact family card. If I did not have a fact family to help me here, what would be a way I could solve that problem? You're right. I could take 4 times 6 to determine what number would be my product. And then when I know my product, I know my multiplication number sentence, I can use that to help me with this division number sentence. On our final slide, I'm giving you three problems, and I want you to try to solve these problems. You can draw a triangular fact card to help you, or if you, um, you can use logical reasoning if you understand your number sentences for multiplication and division. We're going to talk about these problems when you come in on Wednesday when your whisk is due, and we're going to dig a little deeper into related facts and see how we can use related fact families to help us solve a number sentence that has a missing part. And as always, I'm going to leave you with a joke. And our joke today is, what did the baseball glove say to the baseball? Thank you so much for listening. Thank you to my wonderful assistant, Zoe, that you probably heard on our video. And I hope you have a great day. Go Royals World Series champions. Have a great day.